Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and this is going to be a Legend Hybrid Squad Builder. Now, I'm really excited to bring this to you, as Legends are obviously new for FIFA 14, and are exclusive to Xbox, and are extremely rare, and the price of them is ridiculous. But, I've managed to get two, and they are Rio Costa and Richard, I think is how you pronounce it, I'm not entirely sure. My history, sorry, my footballing history knowledge isn't the best, I mean I know the big stars but the background legends I don't really know too much. Anyway, um, yeah they're both 88 raids so like it's a, it's a decent rating I think and I couldn't afford like the ridiculously expensive ones. The one I really 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 want to try is a uh, Gullet because all of his stats are in the 80s but I can't quite afford him yet. But yeah I feel really privileged to be using these as they are just so rare and obviously not many people have enough coins. So yeah, Rickard or however you pronounce it, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it completely wrong, but I'm going to say Rickard. Uh, it cost me 542,000 and Rio Costa cost me 981,000. I have used a position card on Rio Costa. He was originally a centre attack in mid, so I don't know if that's a bad idea or a good idea, but you know, I thought this formation would suit it best. It's a formation I haven't used. So I wanted to make it kind of unique to me since first time I've used Legends, first time I've used 4321 or 14 so you know what, I thought it would be a good mix. Anyway, I'll uh, begin to build the team. There is a lot of different players and the chemistry is 99 with Martin Yolle. It's 94 without him so I apologise, it's not full chemistry. But I think there's five leagues and three nationalities but we'll see anyway, I'll get into it. Right, so in there we have when it decides to load. We have Inform Cruel. Um, I want to try him out because I like his original card. Um, he only cost me 13,500 which is surprising because he's an Inform Keeper in the BPL and as I say his normal card is really good. 84 Diving, 86 Reflex, 82 Handling, 78 Position, 72 Kicking. So, you know, really good stats for an 88 Goalkeeper to be honest. Right, the other centre mid to partner Rickard is Heidinger, um, this is purely for chemistry reasons, I haven't really used him too much so I don't know how good he's going to be, his stats aren't the best, 65 pace, 78 defending and 76 heading, I hope he's not going to let the defence down but we'll see, as I say I used him for chemistry and there's a player that I haven't used so I thought I'd give him a go. Left back we have Baines, I could have got his inform but I've preferred to get a couple of kind of expensive players further up the field which you'll see in a minute but all of his stats are in the 70s I enjoyed his inform I haven't actually used his normal card so I thought I'd try it to maybe see what the difference is between his informs so yeah a decent card and he's there for chemistry reasons but because I haven't used him as well and he is a very good fullback um, right back is Legion, I don't know how you pronounce it, plays for Ajax and yeah most of these players are here for chemistry reasons but I've tried to make it different so there's not just one type of card, it's not just gold rare players, I've tried to mix it with a bunch of informs, non-rare golds, rare golds and rare silvers, so yeah he's got 89 pace so that's probably the only reason I've bought him and chemistry obviously but you know we'll see how he performs. The two centre mids, I was originally going to use Joe Martinho, but it doesn't work and I'll explain why when I've showed you the rest of the squad. But um, De Jong is going to go here and uh, Ruban Michael, I think, is going to go on the left. Now, both of these, to be honest, don't look too bad. Um, especially De Jong, like every start bar defending is in the 70s and then headings in the 82s. So, you know, he might be a solid uh, central mid. He cost me 3,000. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do prices right. Heitinger cost me 450. Baines cost me 3,000. Ligion cost me 950. De Jong cost me 3,000 because he's originally a centre attack in mid, I think. So I bought him a, as a centre mid. And um, Ruben Michael cost me 350 Now he's just a cheap option to filling for chemistry reasons. But, you know, he doesn't look too bad. 79 dribbling, 77 passing and 71 shooting. So he may be decent. We'll see. The left forward is going to be Danny. No, sorry, it isn't. He was another one that um, 
I couldn't get in because of chemistry reasons. It's going to be Varela. I've loved this guy on FIFA 12 and 13. I'm sure he had five star skill on FIFA 12, but not FIFA 13. He's really, really overpowered. Like when you used him with Rodrigo in FIFA 13, it was just unbelievable. Honestly, the partnerships and link ups. So I really hope he's going to be like as good as he was in FIFA 12 and 13. He cost me 1000 because he's originally a left wing, I believe. Right forward is going to be Inform Rodriguez. He's one of the expensive players I mentioned, so I might as well put the striker in since he's a probably guessed. It's Falcao, who is the highest rated player on the team, which is pretty funny considering I've got two legends on the squad. But yeah, I've decided to add these in because I haven't used either this FIFA, and you know, I thought, again, because it's legends, I've never used them, I want to start using some high end players that I haven't used. So yeah, hopefully they'll link up well. Um, Rodriguez has 80 pace, 81 shooting, 86 passing, and 87 dribbling. So really, really good stats. Four star skill, three star weak foot, and he cost me 43,000. Falcao, obviously his standout stat is his heading and his shooting, 86 and 89. Lacking a bit in pace, but I'm hoping Rodriguez and Varela will like, flank him and they'll be able to make some good like interlinks between them. So yeah, Falcao cost me 61500 Um, I'll put an annotation on screen now to how much the squad actually costs because I don't know at the minute, but I'll find out after I've recorded this. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think of the Legends and yeah, who my favourite players are. I really do hope the Legends are brilliant and if you do enjoy this, please let me know if you want this to continue um, and also if you want cheaper hybrids, uh, cheap sweaty teams like that could be like one league one nationality expensive squad builders whatever the hell you want and ask um let me know if you want me to review these legends before i get rid of them this will be uh uploaded probably uh i'm gonna say friday yeah i'll upload this friday i'm recording it on wednesday so yeah let me know because um i want to use so many different legends so yeah if you want me to review them let me know basically and yeah I'll get onto the highlights I've been rambling so yeah if you haven't no I'll do that at the end sorry I'll get onto the highlights now right just before I do head into the highlights um, I want to show you how I played with the team like when I started the match because the first couple of games uh, I just couldn't use it it was terrible so I decided to like change things and sub on um, Joey Martino and Danny and it seemed to work very well and I changed it to a 4 on 2 on 2 and this is how I played the team and uh, obviously they retain their chemistry that they had at the start of the squad because you go into the game with that team and then I just changed it in game to a 4 on 2 on 2 and I moved the players around to these positions and that seemed to work best for me this is going to be slightly longer because this is my first legend squad builder and I do think I do have a lot of highlights they'll be goalkeeper highlights, there'll be defending highlights and goals so I hope you do enjoy that. I'll also go through the um, legend stats for Rio Costa and Rakhkard, like the in-game stats, straight after this so yeah this will be okay so like I just said I will be showing you the in-game stats of Rio Costa and Rakhkard so here they are, well here's Rio Costa's anyway. Um, yeah, they are extremely high, the majority of them. I mean, his standout stats are 95 free kick accuracy, 92 ball control, and 90 curve for his skill attributes. Um, four star skill, four star weak for medium work rate, like attacking work rate, and low defensive, so he doesn't really lose too much um, stamina. Uh, 90 stamina <laughs> and 91 reactions. His sprint speed isn't bad at 87 either, and strength 82 is very important. Um, yeah, other stats like shot power 89, short passing 88, dribbling 88, crossing 88, so yeah, um, very, very good in-game stats, so now on to record, right, he's got 80 ball control, uh, 90 marking, 84 heading accuracy, 82 long pass, 91 shot power, which I'm very surprised at for a defender. 86 slide tackle, 92 stand tackle, so very very strong in defence obviously. He's got 4 star weak for obviously as a defender you don't really need skill, so 2 star skill move. Medium medium attack if defensive, so he does push forward a bit. He's 6 foot 3, has 93 stamina, 88 strength, 89 reactions, 
93 interceptions and his aggression isn't too high so he doesn't give away fouls too often. Okay I'm back for the highlights. I'd just like to apologise at the length of this video. It's about 17 minutes but there is some pretty good highlights. I've tried to show defending highlights. I've tried to show some misses, some shots that hit the bar, some saves by Cruel, some defending. I've tried to mix it all in right. Right my top five players are i will probably say Joe Matinho fifth, even though he's not in the team. He did very well, and him and D M and Rio Costa, uh, I kept switching them between centre attack and mid and centre defensive mid, and it really did work. Um, fourth, I'd have to say is probably Varela, and you'll see why later on in the highlights. He scores some great goals. His dribbling is exquisite. Four star skill, four star weak foot, a bit like what he was in FIFA 13, which I'm really happy about. Not as overpowered though. Third, I'd have to say is Tim Krul. If you've got the coins, pick him up. He is so good. His saves, his diving, everything. Like There is a couple of um, retarded moments, I suppose, which aren't really his fault. Like There's one coming up. I'll let you know when that is. Um, I'll talk over it. But yeah, apart from that, brilliant goalkeeper. And for 13,500 coins, you can't go wrong. Second, I'd say is Rickard. I really did enjoy him as a defender. He is so good, six foot three, so strong, great at heading. There's some highlights with him defending and a couple of corners that he should have scored but didn't because the keeper saved. Honestly, brilliant player. Um, and number one, oh my god, it has to be Falcao. Look at that, that was cleared off the line by Rickard. Um, his shot, but yeah, it's Falcao. He is so good, long shot. Oh my god, this guy, he hits the bar on the post so many times. And look at that by Crew. I mean, I tried to clear it away, but it just ended up going straight to him because he decided to slide. But yeah, Falcao, he hit the bar on the post so many times and he scored some brilliant goals. Later on, you'll see. Um, in general, the team was pretty good, but one player I was really disappointed with is Rio Costa. I just, I've tried him everywhere, like centre, defensive, mid all the way to a striker and he plays best as a centre defensive mid and a centre attacking mid but for the coins you're paying nearly a million he's just not worth it his dribbling's clunky his long like his touches are very long when he's got the space his shots are brilliant and his passing is pretty good but for a million he's definitely not worth it Rickard is however and Falco is definitely worth his 60,000 um yeah like look he's just hit the bar there Falco um Overall, yeah, I did enjoy the team, but I had to change it to a 4-1-2-1-2 because two, two, I won the first game, then I lost two, and then drew, and then I did changed the team to a 4 one 2 and 2 and I won three in a row. I only played seven games, but that's because I want to do other squad builders and stuff like that, so I didn't really have the time, but I did enjoy the team when I changed the formation and I actually found one that suited it. And here there's a highlight coming up with, that just shows Rickard's power in his heading oh my god he was so good at defending but I'm just gonna let the highlights play out now sorry the video is 17 minutes there is some brilliant goals coming up and two big victories this being one of them and the another chance that's hit the bar from Falco but anyway if you have enjoyed please do hit that like button subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content comment on what videos you want me to bring to my channel and yeah peace